a very good afternoon to one and all. Myself, Dr. Ishab Gupta, and in today's session, we will be covering up the MS Excel application of composite break-even point. In this session, we will understand the calculation of composite break-even point in units, how we can calculate our composite break-even point in values using MS Excel. Then we will learn the calculation of product-wise break-even point both in units and both in rupees, followed by the computation of overall PV ratio. And at last, you will try to understand that how we can prepare our overall break-even point chart and the profit volume chart. So here we begin. PQR Limited manufactures and sells three types of products, namely A, B and C. The selling price per units of these products are rupees 200, rupees 160 and rupees 100 respectively. The corresponding variable cost per unit are rupees 120, 120 rupees and 40 rupees while the total fixed cost is 11,60,000. The quantity wise or I can say sales fix in which these products are manufactured and sold are 20%, 30% and 50% respectively. Based upon this information, you need to calculate the overall break-even point in quantity, product-wise break-even point in unit, product-wise break-even point in rupee, overall break-even point in values, overall PV ratio, the predicted units of output at 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 and 30,000. And finally, we need to show this information graphically depicting the overall break-even point and the profit volume using profit volume chart. So let's begin. So for the calculation of my overall break-even point in units, I need to first know my fixed cost as well as the composite or the weighted contribution per unit. The formula for the calculation of overall BEP is fixed cost divided by composite or weighted CPU. Now, in this case, there are three products, product A, product B, and product C. The selling price is already given. It is 200 rupees, 160 rupees, and 100 rupees. The corresponding variable cost is also specified in the numerical 120, 120, and finally 40. Now we need to calculate the contribution per unit. We know that the formula for contribution per unit is equals to selling price. So I need to select this selling price minus variable cost per unit, which is 120 in this case, and press enter. It comes out to be 80 rupees. I need to repeat this exercise for product B and product C. So equals to 160 minus 120. I can also drag it down for product C. So my contribution per unit is 80 rupees, 40 rupees and 60 rupees. Now for the calculation of my composite contribution per unit, I also need to have a sales mix values. So sales mix is already being specified. It is 0.2 for project A, 0.3 for project B and 0.5 for project C. So it will be for the calculation of composite CPU, it will be equals to contribution per unit multiplied by corresponding sales mix that represented by F3 and press enter. So it is 16 in this case. Now drag it down for project C as well. So composite contribution per unit is 16 rupees for project A, 12 rupees for project B and finally 30 rupees for project C the total will be 58. So my overall composite contribution per unit is 58 rupees. So I have already calculated my denominator that is 58 rupees in this case. The fixed cost is already being specified that is 11,60,000. So equals to fixed cost divided by composite CPU. It comes out to be 
20,000 units. So my overall break even point in units is 20,000. The next step is the calculation of project wise break even point both in units as well as in value. So for the second part I need to prepare a table for the computation of project wise break even point. So in this case we have three projects that is project A, project B and project C. Then we have weighted average selling price. Then we need to calculate the weighted average variable cost per unit and weighted contribution per unit. So we can either calculate the weighted contribution per unit in this manner. Alternatively, I can also calculate my weighted average selling price followed by the calculation of weighted average variable cost and then the difference will give you weighted contribution per unit. So you can calculate this weighted CPU in any of the ways. Then break even point in units followed by break even point in value. Now first thing foremost I need to calculate my weighted average selling price. The formula is very much simple. So you simply need to multiply your selling price that is the respective selling price with the respective sales mix. So equals to selling price for project A that is 200 multiplied by the corresponding sales mix that is 0.2. It comes out to be 40. Now you simply need to drag it down for the remaining two products that is project B and project C. So it will be 40 rupees, 48 rupees and 50 rupees. The overall weighted average selling price will be equals to sum and add all the three. It comes out to be 138. Now we need to calculate the weighted average variable cost. Again the step remains the same. Now in this step I need to multiply my variable cost with the sales mix. So equals to the corresponding variable cost which is 120 representing D3 multiplied by sales mix which is 0.2 and press enter. It comes out to be 24. I need to put my cursor at the corner and drag it down till project C. So it comes out to be 24 rupees, 36 rupees and 20 rupees. The weighted average variable cost is 80. The next is the calculation of weighted contribution per unit. So it will remain the same selling price minus variable cost. So it will be 16 rupees. So this remains the same. These are the alternative ways for calculating my weighted contribution per unit equals to sum. For the calculation of break even point in units, you need to simply multiply your overall break even point in units multiplied by the corresponding sales mix. So I need to type equals to this my overall break even point is 20,000 units. So equals to E11 multiplied by sales mix. Now I know that my overall break even point will remain same both in project B also as well as in project C. So what I can do I can fix it. So it will be shift plus 4 and press enter. Now drag it down till project C. So it will be 4000 units for project A, 6000 units for project B and 10,000 units for project C. You can observe that the overall break even point remains 20,000 that is 10,000 plus 6,000 plus 4,000 which comes out to be 20,000. The next is the calculation of break even point in value. So we have calculated the break even point in units. Now we can easily calculate the BEP in value which is equals to break even point in units multiplied by the corresponding selling price that is 200 in this case. So what I have done I have simply multiplied the break even point in units with the corresponding selling price. So equals to again 6000 multiplied by the corresponding selling price that is 160. Drag it down for project C as well. The overall break even point in values is 
27 lakh 60 thousand. So in this way, what I have done, I have we have calculated the break-even point in units. We have calculated my break-even point in units. We have calculated the overall break-even point in units. Project-wise break-even point in units and the overall break-even point in values as well as the project-wise break-even point in values. Now we can easily calculate my PV ratio as well. So overall PV ratio, it will be total fixed cost divided by overall break-even point equals to total fixed cost divided by 27 lakh 60,000 it comes out to be 0 0.4202 alternatively I can say it comes out to be 42.03 so the overall PV ratio is 42.03 percent the next step is to prepare a table of projected cost and revenues and the numerical has already specified that the total units or the projected units of output is 10,000 15,000, 20,000, 25 and 30. Now we need to prepare a table of projected cost and revenue. So I have just noted down units, total fixed cost, total variable cost, total cost, sales value and finally the profit or loss. So let me first note it down the units 10,000, 15,000, 20,000, 25,000 and 30,000. Fixed cost is 11 lakh 60,000. Let me just drag it down. Now my total variable cost in this case is variable cost per unit multiplied by number of units. So my number of units is 10,000 and the total variable cost is 80 rupees. So multiplied by 80 rupees. I know that in every case for every unit of output my total variable cost per unit or the weighted total weighted average variable cost per unit that is 80 rupees in this case remains the same or remains fixed. So I can fix this as well that is D shift plus 4 dollar 19 and press enter. Just drag it down till 30,000 units. So it is 8 lakh rupees against 10,000 units. Then 12 lakh rupees, 16 lakh rupees, 20 lakhs and 24 lakhs. The next is the calculation of total cost which is equal to fixed cost plus total variable cost and press enter. It comes out to be 19 lakh 60,000 and just drag it down. So it will be 19 lakh 60,000, 23 lakh 60,000, 27 lakh 60,000, 31 lakh 60,000 and finally 35 lakh 60,000 rupees. Now I need to calculate the sales value. Again the procedure remains the same. I simply need to multiply my units of output with the aggregate selling price equals to units multiplied by the weighted average selling price is 138 and it remains the same in all the subsequent cells so I need to fix it. Just drag it down. It comes out to be 13 lakh 80 thousand, 20 lakh 70 thousand, 27 lakh 60 thousand, 34 lakh 50 thousand and finally 41 lakh 40 thousand rupees. Now I need to calculate my profit or loss. So equals to sales minus total cost and press enter and just drag it down. So from the table I can say this is my break even point. Now I need to represent the same thing in the chart showing the overall break even point as well as the overall profit volume. So let's first begin. Again I need to select my total cost and total sales. 
After selecting this total cost and total sales column, I need to go to insert, click on line and then click on 2D line. In this way, I have prepared this chart. Now first and foremost, I need to change this axis. So again, right click on it. The moment I right click on it, it is asking for select data. Just click on it, go to edit and it is asking the range of data. So I want my range of data from 10,000 till 30,000. I simply need to drag it down and press enter and then press OK. Also, I need to format my axis or I need to format the position of my axis. So I need to right click on it, click on format axis and position axis I want on tick marks and close it. The next I want to label this intersection point. You need to right click on it and add data label. Now the next is I need to label my axis. So again, I need to select this chart, layout, chart title, above chart, overall break even point chart of PQR limited. Also I need to label my axis as well. So go to axis titles, primary horizontal and then click on title below axis. This is representing my units. Similarly, I want to label my Y axis as well. Again, the same procedure is there. Go to primary vertical axis, then horizontal title. So in this way, I can plot my overall break even point chart of PQR limited. I can also format my chart area as well. That is pattern fill. Now I need to label my profit and the volume. So I need to go to insert, go to text box, click on it and write profit. And then I also need to repeat this exercise for the losses as well. Go to text box, click on it and loss. So in this way I have prepared my overall break even point chart. Now I need to prepare the profit volume chart. So I just need to select this profit column, profit or loss column, go to insert line chart. First of all, I need to format my x-axis. So I want my x-axis to represent the number of units. So again, right click on it, select data, edit it and units and press OK. Now I also want to change the position of this text. So I need to format axis, position axis on tick marks. OK. Now I want to label it as well. So I need to change the chart title, select this chart, go to layout, chart title. So my chart title is profit volume chart. Now I need to label my axis as well. So again, I need to layout, go to axis title, primary horizontal. This represents my sales in units for the y axis axis title go to primary vertical axis title and then profit or loss i can also format this chart area as well go to pattern click on it and then close it so in this way we have calculated the overall break even point both in values as well as in units Project wise break even point in units and in values, and finally the preparation of overall break even point chart and the profit volume chart. So that's all from my side. We'll meet you in my next session. Have a nice day.